copyright disclaimer under section 107 under the copyright of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use, such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship and research. Fair use is permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Hello there fellow YouTubers. I hope your day is going well. So, this channel has a lot of stuff in mind and asked me to talk to you guys about it. First off, the channel made a possible video explaining how Disney might have been tricked by Fox News into changing 20th Century Fox to 20th Century Studios. I still prefer the old name better. Link will be in the description if you're interested. Another thing. If the Walt Disney Company is watching this, we did end up writing our own adaptation to Jack London's The Call of the Wild. It's called The Call of the Wild, The Legend of Buck. It's on the official 833 Time YouTube channel DeviantArt page. We'll put a link in the description to that as well. Thanks 20th. What would we do without you? We're thinking of turning it into a feature-length internet movie. Another thing in mind. Pixar has announced back in December that they were releasing an actual movie revolving around the character Buzz Lightyear. This time, however, it'll be of the actual human Buzz and not the toy we are all familiar with. Plus, instead of Tim Allen doing the voice like before, it'll be Chris Evans, who also did the portrayal of Steve Rogers aka Captain America in the Infinity Saga of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Pretty epic films I will say. That's not all though, 833 Time is still working very hard to purchase Blue Sky Studios. I'm sorry that it might have already been shut down. But you can't blame Disney, they were just concerned about money and the coronavirus pandemic. While the channel might not agree with everything Disney does, we still respect them for who they are. Yet I'm not sure if we started the Save Blue Sky movement. But we appreciate your support for our purchase nonetheless. I mean it's crazy, they've only produced 13 animated movies, but that's not enough. If anything, they could have gotten to Pixar's level. Just think of who'll look after those awesome macaw birds. I like blue macaws myself and I think Blue Sky did a great job creating the characters to their advantage. Did you know, before they went into film production, they originally animated visuals for films such as Star Trek. Insurrection. They also animated Nickelodeon television spots back in the 1990s. Plus, in 2009, they animated the current 20th Century Fox logo. They were established by Chris Wedge and Carlos Sonatas. Fun facts. Anyway, yeah, that's all I came to say. See you guys later. Also, I almost forgot, but since Disney purchased 20th Century Fox, wouldn't it be cool if Pixar did their own version of the logo? That would look pretty awesome I won't lie.